What's going on guys, Manny back here with yet another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys haven't seen my last video, my BMW 335i caught on fire, not clickbait, it actually caught on fire. And that's kind of leading what today's video is gonna be about, pretty much figuring out what we're gonna do with the car. You guys saw with the title, we're gonna figure out if we're gonna be rebuilding it, selling it, parting it out, I don't know, but that's what this video is for. I'm sorry that took forever to update you guys on what's gonna happen with the car. I've just been super busy with the shop and just a whole bunch of things I've been having to figure out. But today's finally the day. We're gonna figure out the damage on the car and yeah, let's get started with today's video. The car is in the shop. We got it towed here from whenever it got burned and stuff like that. It's been sitting outside for a while, so it's been super dirty. I finally got it in the shop to like, just let it sit in here and not sit outside no more. And I already started taking apart stuff. I was super anxious to just see the damages. So I took off the fender, the front bumper, the headlight. Nothing crazy. I still haven't like really taken off the turbo and not, I don't even know if it starts. We pushed it in here. We're going to take off the wheels and just get really into depth of what's wrong with the car. See if it starts. See if, you know, what's pretty much wrong. If I'm going to sell it, part it. This video is going to pretty much decide which wrong I'm going to go with the car, guys. A lot of people have been asking me. And a lot of people have been showing support and just, you know, a whole bunch of love. So thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it, guys. It really helps me so much get through this stuff. Like I said, I actually am sad about it, but I'm not completely broken. I'm not completely, like, torn because it's materialistic stuff, guys. And, yeah, let's get this car moved over on jack stands, take off the wheels, and just start figuring out what's wrong with this car. So this is the first time I'm going to try to see if it actually starts, guys. So you guys are witnesses with me. And, yeah, cross your fingers this works, guys. Let's see, insert the key. It starts, guys. That's a whole bunch of warning lights and stuff, but. It freaking starts, guys. Oh, snap. It freaking starts. I mean, I think it has a misfire. I don't know, it kind of sounded like pretty like, like a misfire, but. I think it's because this coil is kind of burnt, but I don't know guys, overall it freaking starts, which is great news. And yeah, let's push this back now and get the wheels off, start taking it apart. So you guys freaking saw, sorry the camera quality keeps changing first of all guys, because my freaking camera died, so I'm charging that, the GoPro died, I'm charging that, so. I'm filming on my iPhone, so sorry for the quality, but as you guys saw, that's exactly how you do not jack up a car. I don't know why I jacked up this side. I'm so dumb, but it is what it is. We got the jack under the freaking car on the jack point. So don't come for me, guys. I know a lot of you guys are going to try to roast me, but like, that's so unsafe. I know, guys, trust me, I've jacked up many cars before. I don't know why I just had a brain fart and jacked it up from that side, but we got it jacked up, and now let's see what's the issues. They don't even stick. Like it comes out with a lug. So what's the point of a stud? Conversion. I mean, it's still on there, but like they're like really loose and stuff. So I don't know. Stud conversions don't really work, guys. Or they do, I guess. I don't know. It's tired. Done, bro. Look at that. It's all burnt. I hope the wheel's not messed up. No, it's not. All this stuff is just from the fire extinguisher. So I'm gonna try to clean this up today. Try to wipe down the car too, so it doesn't look as terrible, but I don't know. Let's see what's wrong with the car. So first initial thoughts, I mean, my boost solenoid, I mean vacuum lines. Ah, oh, I keep having brain farts. My vacuum lines connected to my boost solenoid are done. The boost solenoid I think is done too. It's all like messed up, but Nothing really happened over here. I was worried about my brake lines melting, but it looks like they didn't melt. I don't know guys, but this fender liner's done. This freaking water windshield wiper holder tank is freaking melted. So I'm gonna take that off, take this off. Just keep taking apart parts from the car and just see what I get myself into. I don't know. So, so far we got all this stuff on this side where the fire really was at uh, taken off. So we got like the expansion tank taken off. We got 
what else fender liner taking off like the remaining of the rear fender liner taking off uh, i got the boost lines oh don't need that got that taken off um and yeah now we're gonna get to the fun stuff which is removing this bad boy right here and uh yeah let's take off this freaking downpipe first take off the face of the turbo and yeah let's see what we get into i want to just really have room over here to get to this line right here and uh clean up the turbo too and stuff like that clean all this stuff up i'm gonna clean everything too guys it's not gonna just be all this messed up i'm gonna clean everything make it look good and yeah let's see what we get into and right now it doesn't seem like that's that much damage i mean the car started so that's the best sign we could have gotten the car started aesthetics and like looks wise it's really easy it's just a fender headlight bumper and hood nothing really crazy but like i said i was just more worried about the actual car starting i know this coil pack is done as you guys can see like these wires and stuff but yeah this one's melted this thing i might be done i'm gonna probably want to replace it anyways but yeah i mean we got some of the parts off and stuff like that i'm gonna keep putting you guys on time lapses maybe even a head gopro mount so you guys can see me take off this turbo like from like a point of view mechanic view i don't know but yeah let's get to it heavy bro is this to make you faster or what so we finally got the turbo out i left the like propeller i guess on because i didn't feel like unplugging this freaking hose because it takes forever to like as you guys see it's already all like sh not stripped but like scratched up because it's hard to freaking tighten that drain line so I left that on but it's not that bad honestly guys i just wanted to take the turbo off so i can see all the damages here and follow this line all the way down so i can unplug it and just pretty much replace this whole harness and stuff like that but it's not that bad i didn't know this was like where the brake line connected to these sensors are not even working anyway they never work i just coded out the freaking code because it was annoying but slowly getting somewhere and then the rest is this headlight harness and this part right here. Uh, it's crazy. This one harness, bro, parvo, like it takes care of everything. Look, god damn. Look, it replaces all this. 
the horn that doesn't work Ugh. anymore since the fire. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna solder it. I think I'm just gonna replace this whole line, huh? I'd be like smarter. Yeah. Just replace the whole line. I'm surprised no one, actually no one went in the comments and like called me out. Cause I kept saying ECU harness and it's not the ECU harness. I think this is just like the headlight harness. It's just like the module harness for like the headlights, the brake, freaking sensors, and like the horn and that stuff, so. But yeah, look, as you guys can see, it's not really that bad. Here, I'll show them with the camera. It's not really that bad, guys. Obviously, this is all burnt and stuff. I still got to clean the engine. Like, people think it's, like, really bad, but it just looks bad. I still have to clean the engine, maybe even paint this part. And, um, yeah, it's not that bad. I got to replace this right now, take out that coil. And besides that, nothing really got, like, damaged. You guys saw the car started. It just looks dirty. That's pretty much it. And once I place that line, literally once I replace that line, my boost solenoid, um, my vacuum lines, this freaking thing, and... What else? The reservoir for the headlight washer. I mean, windshield washer. And that's pretty much it. New fender liner, obviously. It's not really that much damage, guys. I think I'm going to end up just rebuilding it because it's not really that much damage. Honestly, I can probably fix it with around like maybe like $1,000. If I want a carbon fiber hood again, it's definitely going to be around like $2,000 because that hood is like hella expensive. I don't even think a lot of people, I don't think they make it no more. So that kind of sucks. I might go with the GTS hood, but I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, let's finally start cleaning this stuff up, take out this coil, and uh, yeah, let's see where we go. So far, I cleaned the windshield. I like kind of detailed this. Not too well, honestly, guys. I tried my best. This is just burnt, so I'm definitely gonna be painting this now, guys. But as far as like all the freaking carbon fiber hair or material, um, I got it all out. It's just dirty. Um, I'm probably gonna just have, honestly, a detailer just really clean the, de the freaking engine bay. I didn't worry too much about this part because this is all gonna get covered with the new fender. But um, I cleaned the windshield. Uh, thank God that didn't crack or get burnt, but yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna have someone detail it. I'm gonna put an actual like BMW engine cover on it So it kind of hides all these ugly wires and stuff like that So just I really want to make this engine bay look clean now like I was telling the homie Adrian I was like bro Honestly, I want it to look so clean people will be like what the heck this thing was in the fire But um, yeah, let's see how it goes Only thing left to do is to put the wheel back on and that's pretty much it Like I said, that's pretty much all I can do until I start getting the parts gathering all the parts and start putting it together and yeah, let's see how that goes. I ended up cutting this harness, guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just cut the harness off, honestly, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna just replace the harness from like the main place or if I'm gonna just solder this. Nico said he can probably solder this in like an hour or so. I'll let him deal with that stuff, figure out what's best to do with that. But yeah, guys, I kinda wanted to get the turbo powder coated. I don't know what color to do. I kinda wanted to do red or bronze so they can match the freaking, like, what is this blow valve? or my wheels. I feel like those are the only two things that I would power coat them or two colors I can power coat them because I'm gonna get a whole rewrap on this car. I'm gonna rewrap everything. So I'm not gonna tell you the color yet. I kind of want them to match the wheels, you know? So I don't know. I don't want to re-powder coat the wheels. It's a big headache taking them off the car and just doing all this stuff, unmounting them and all that. So I'm probably gonna just keep that color and just try to wrap it a color that matches with that. But I don't know guys, let me know what color I should freaking powder coat the turbo face. Am I a NASCAR driver or what? I mean, a pit crew? Damn. Alright. Well, that's probably super over torque, but I don't care. They still look dirty. But at least they're not like freaking burned up. I'm gonna change the tire, guys. This is just for me to take it off the jack stand and put it back down on the ground, but I don't know. Ugh. 
Burley cleared it. Damn. That's why you get a low profile jack, guys. We finally got to it, figured out what the problems are on the car. That's what we know of right now. Um, but yeah, it's literally going over the list. I think it's the ignition coil harness. It's the actual like headlight slash horn slash whatever harness. I got to get that one fixed. Um, what else do I got to do? I think that's it for like the freaking engine part. But besides that, all I need is a new fender, new tire, hood, front bumper, and headlight. And we're solid. This car is like nothing happened. I'm obviously going to repaint all this stuff. Like I said, I didn't really go deep into cleaning this because like I said, I'm going to get a fender to cover all this. So you're not going to see this. But for all this right here, I'm definitely going to get that painted. Or I'm going to like paint it myself and then get an engine cover on this part. Get the engine bay all detailed. I need to clean this side because I mean, I got kind of lazy. It's super late now too. But I mean, I feel like we made a lot of progress. I'm definitely going to rebuild it now. So yeah, guys, you guys should be excited for that. I'm going to try to make it like a series as soon as I start gathering parts and just looking, sourcing out those parts. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, I guess it's, I guess this is a new project for the channel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.